Welcome to Ask the Tech Coach, brought to you by the TeacherCast Educational Network. If you are in charge of professional development and looking to build an innovative digital learning experience, this is the podcast for you. Join us each week as we uncover strategies that tech coaches are using to drive their digital transformations one classroom at a time. And now for your host, with over two decades of experience working with tech coaches and ed tech companies from all around the world, Jeff Bradbury. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TeacherCast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Thank you so much for joining us today and making TeacherCast your home for professional development. This is an Ask the Tech Coach bonus show. Today, we're going to be talking all about digital citizenship, digital safety, and we have a fantastic guest on today from a company you might have heard of called Meta. We're going to learn all about a great name change, a new direction for education, and so much more today with my guests, But before we get there, I want to say thank you guys for showing up today and being a part of this show. We've got a lot of great things happening on the TeacherCast Tech Coaches Network. Don't forget to check everything out over at askthetechcoach.com. We have got so much new content happening, and each and every Monday we drop our show, Ask the Tech Coach. I'm so glad that you guys are here and hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget also while you're over at askthetechcoach.com to sign up for our teacher cast tech coaches network we have over 350 amazing educational instructional coaches all working together each and every week to support each other if you guys are looking for help in your instructional coaching department let me know we are here to help you guys and we are here to support you each and every single day today we are talking all about online digital safety digital security and i have a fantastic guest for you guys My guest today is the North American Head of Safety at Meta, where she handles safety policy for the U.S. and Canada, and she deals with amazing issues, including women's safety, child safety, bullying, digital well-being, and suicide prevention. I am so thrilled to have on the show today, Ms. Jennifer Hanley. Jennifer, welcome to the show. Welcome to TeacherCast. Jeff, thank you so much. It's delightful to be here today. I am so thrilled to have you on. We're talking about safety, digital security, making sure that our students are, are, are where they need to be, doing what they need to be. But, but first, I got to ask you the question that's on everybody's mind. How are things at Face... Wait, Face... Me, meta? <laughs> wait. Talk to us a little bit about what's going on with the company these days. Yep. As of about two weeks ago, we are now Meta. It is our, our official company name change. It really reflects the future and kind of what we're building toward. So uh, Mark Zuckerberg did make a big announcement two weeks ago. Um, we chose Meta because it means beyond. And it kind of captures our commitment to building social technologies that take us beyond the digital connection um, you, you know, that we have today. So it's really a future-leaning uh, new name. We still have our family of apps. So the Facebook platform that you're familiar with or using Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, they all still exist, but within the meta company. And I noticed that at that announcement, he was mentioning a a meta world, a metaverse, a virtual world. You know, it's an education show here, Jen. Are we looking at having a a day where students have things on their heads and they're going to be in school as avatars? Like, what does Mark see as the future for education? I think that's part of it. And um, if you were able to watch Mark's announcement, there are some really interesting educational opportunities coming with it, ways to explore in just a whole new way, different than what we're doing today, um, and really much more immersive with social connection at the heart of it. So whether you're in school, in the classroom, or you're at home, like we've had to be for the last, you know, 20 or so months, the new technology and kind of the pieces we're building of the metaverse will really help everyone connect in these new ways and, and explore and learn. I'm glad you mentioned that because with great power comes great responsibility, right? I believe that was the Spider-Man mantra with great connection comes greater responsibility. I mean, we are here today to talk about helping our kids navigate the internet, having kids navigate social media. Let me ask you the obvious question here, but I'd love to get it from, from you. Why is this topic so important? 
it, it is important for everyone. We are in an increasingly connected and online world. Here at Meta, we take this really seriously. We want everyone using our platforms to have a safe and positive experience. I've been working in the online safety space for more than a decade. I've heard from parents, from educators, and from young people themselves. They want to make sure that they know what they're doing and have the skills to have this safe online experience. So it's, it's so important now more than ever. And especially, as I said, based on this, the last 20 months, it's been a really hard time for everyone. But they've also used technology to connect and to share and to be together, even when they're apart. Um, and so making sure they can do that safely is just so important. And what is Facebook doing to support this? What is Facebook doing to help make sure that our students are uh, digitally safe? Yeah, so at Meta, we have a number of different things that we do. First of all, we have a safety center. Um, we'll make sure to share that link uh, later again, but it's, it's facebook.com slash safety. That is what we call our one-stop shop for all of our safety resources. When we think about safety, part of my role is on, on the global safety team is to look at the right policies, the partnerships, the tools, and those resources that can help people. So earlier this year, ahead of back to school, for example, we launched a child safety hub. That is a centralized resource. It brings together expert informed tips and tools and resources that really help families and particularly parents and educators with digital literacy, bullying prevention, child safety, we even within that resource have on-demand trainings from our expert partners. I got to do one just a few weeks ago with the Digital Wellness Lab, all about back to school and, and helping parents navigate this challenging time. Are these things that can be found by parents and students? You said, is this, is this desktop type things? Can they be doing this on their iPhone, Android devices? Where can we find these things? Yeah, so the, the, the safety center you can find absolutely on your, on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer. We also have a program called Get Digital. And this is something that I think that educators in particular will really benefit from learning about. Get Digital launched actually last year in March of 2020, kind of at the start of the pandemic. And we wanted to make sure that we were really equipping and helping educators, parents, caregivers. We know a lot of grandparents have been helping with, with remote schooling over the last year and a half. And this includes lesson plans and activities built around pillars like critical foundations for online safety, wellness, engagement, empowerment, and opportunities. And that's all available on Facebook's uh, Get Digital platform. And it, it, we have downloadable resources for the teachers, free lesson plans, activities for caregivers, teachers, activities for students. Um, I really, really love some of the ones, particularly around wellness. Uh, we also, in addition to um, working with EverFi last year to go into about 4,000 classrooms around the United States, we also did some pilot programs with teachers um, across the U.S. and a number of different states who really worked through the, the Get Digital resources and told us all about how they used these lessons in their own classrooms and their school communities and had a lot of great things to say about the well-being toolkits that we provide. I, I think it's important that we we mention the stuff and uh, well, the resources that that Meta has here over at Facebook.com forward slash safety. These are not reactionary. This is proactive stuff. Facebook is making sure that our, our students, our parents have the resources that they need. I, I'm flipping through these different uh, resources here again. Facebook.com forward slash safety. This isn't necessarily how to be on Facebook, this is how to be on the internet. This is universal. Y teachers can use this material for any of their classes, any of their subjects, any type of learning. These resources are golden. Absolutely. It's not meant to help you master one particular app or platform or anything. These are skills that young people need to thrive in today's world with so much online. And they're just basic skills, really helping build empathy and um, really helping people learn to keep themselves safe, to think about things like using complex passwords and privacy settings. And so they're not meant to teach like one moment in time, one app. It's really meant to help build these foundational skills for young people. And so they can apply them whether they're using our platforms or wherever they are online. Um, so yeah, again, again, they're free resources. We're really proud of them. They're expert informed as well. So we worked and partnered with many different um, organizations to help build them. So we worked with, um, you know, the Berkman Klein Center at Harvard, the Greater Good Science Center, Teaching Tolerance, and so many others to inform these resources. 
one of the resources here that I'm looking at specifically is think before you share. I know that's a big th- lesson, unfortunately, that so many young people learn too late. What advice do you have for teachers in sharing these lessons, teaching these lessons? I got eight-year-olds at home. Yep. Should I be worrying about this with my eight-year-olds? Is it too early? Is it too late? No, Where are we? You're not too late and it's never too early. Um, I have been saying since long before I was, was here at Meta, the most important thing you can do with online safety is have an open dialogue with your child about what you expect them to do online, learn about what they're doing, what they enjoy about it. Try not to scare them because you want them to come to you if there's something they find that makes them uncomfortable. So really starting the conversation when they're getting their first devices, when they're learning and and using new apps or different programs, that's what's really important. So as as a dad, I hope you're having the conversation as you're, you know, either getting phones or turning your phone over to them from time to time about what you expect, you know, who they can connect with, who they can contact and what they're sharing about themselves. That think before you share is, is so important. And in Get Digital, we do. We have some lessons around that, even about who you want your online persona to be. Um, you know, just making sure that that we can walk teens through what they're sharing and what they're putting out there and how to use some of the privacy settings so that they aren't just publicly sharing everything all the time. You, you mentioned privacy settings. I want to I want to put a marker there and come back to that one, because I, I wanted to poke on something that you mentioned earlier. If a student or if somebody under 18 is on a social media platform, could be meta, could be anything and something is happening to them. What should they do? Should they go tell a adult? Should they go tell Facebook in this example? Like, how do they handle these things the right way? And if they tell the adult, what does the adult do about it? Yep, absolutely. So one of the most important things they can do is use the report button. Um, I always say follow the three dots, whether you're on Facebook or you're on Instagram. If they find something that's making them uncomfortable, someone talking to them, some content that they've seen that that may go against our community standards, they should absolutely report that content to us and they should talk to a trusted adult. Um, Sometimes they don't wanna go to their parents, so maybe it's a coach, maybe it's a babysitter, maybe it's a friend, but talk to an adult about what they've come across. That can also be really helpful because they can help them navigate the situation as well. So it's again that open dialogue as well as using the, the tools like report. We also have lots of other tools and products that can help. So things like privacy settings, they may want to look at what they're using in terms of how they're sharing information and and utilize some of those tools and settings we have to help them kind of restrict some of the interactions if they want to as well. You know, Jen, I don't know if you can comment on this, but you, you mentioned the three dots, right? What is behind those three dots? Everybody, you know, I've had this conversation. Is it an algorithm? Is it a human? Who is actually, I mean, Meta is supporting 200 plus million accounts. Does my three dot problem really make it to a human? Does it actually make any difference in this world? Your three dot reporting absolutely makes a difference in this world. We use a combination of automated technology as well as human reviewers to review those reports. There's often a misconception that you need lots of people reporting the same content for it to get looked at, but that's not the case. A single report will get examined, whether through technology or depending on the subject through human review. Um, So it's also important for young people, especially, or for parents and educators to know that reporting is completely anonymous. We're not telling the other person that you reported that content. So that should hopefully give people, you know, help them feel more empowered to report as well. One of the things that we were looking at with this is making sure that the word gets out. How can teachers share in the message that you're bringing to us today? How do we share with each other the importance of digital citizenship, digital responsibility? What can we do here as just teachers in the world? Yeah, I've I've heard from a lot of teachers, too, that they trust teachers the most when it comes to learning about these resources, which is why we partner with so many different education organizations and safety experts to help us get the word out. So I think teachers should definitely look through things like our Get Digital program, find lessons that they want to try in their classroom and share share the resources with other educators who could benefit from it. Um, there are so many interesting ones. One of my favorites is like take a moment for me, one building about building self-compassion, just integrating these into their lesson plans or if they're part of an after school you know, community, sharing it there as well. And then letting other educators know that these exist 
that they're free, that they're, you know, different, you know, they, they take different amounts of time. So they're pretty easy to integrate into, into your community and your school classrooms. If anybody wants to reach out to Faith, to Meta, I, I, I got to make that switch. I'm gonna, yes. By the end of the show, we're going to make that switch, Jen. If anybody wants to reach out, how do we do that? I, I, I know like there's, you know, there's no phone. No, I mean, is there a phone number? How, how does somebody that's interested in learning more get more information here? So first of all, go, go to the Safety Center to get more information. That's a great way to connect with us. And you can also connect with us certainly online through um, through Facebook, through Instagram are, are great ways to connect as well. And we have teams of people working on this. I am part of the, safe, the, the safety policy team. We have teams focused on education and a whole variety of, of issues who are here to learn and to connect and to make sure that we're sharing these resources widely. I hope you guys have a chance to check it out. The website is facebook.com forward slash safety. And of course, all the links and stuff to the Child Safety Hub and all of the great stuff over here is going to be on our show notes. Don't forget to check it out over on teachercast.net. Jen, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thanks for sharing all this stuff. This is such an important topic. And and I, I'd hate to have you leave without asking the question, what is the future of all of this? Where do you see this information going now that you're meta? What's in the meta future? I think in the meta future, we want to build on these foundations, all of the online safety work that we're doing to make sure that as we move into these future technologies, people have a safe experience from the start and that we're thinking about all of these issues that may emerge and making sure that the right tools and resources are there as we build into the into the future and go beyond. Um, and, and Jeff, just thank you for, for sharing. I hope that the educators listening um, learned about some new resources. We're really proud of the work that we do when it comes to online safety and well-being and hope these are really helpful for for educators at this challenging time. The website again is facebook.com forward slash safety. We're going to make sure everything is out there for you guys. And I hope you have a chance to check out this and all the great resources. Jen, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Jeff. And that wraps up this episode of the TeacherCast Educational Network. Don't forget to check out everything over on TeacherCast, especially our podcast all about instructional coaching, educational podcasting, and so much more. You can find it all over on TeacherCast.net. On behalf of everybody here on the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students. You've been listening to Ask the Tech Coach, hosted by Jeff Bradbury of the TeacherCast Educational Network. Please reach out to the show with all of your questions on Twitter at Ask the Tech Coach or online at www.askthetechcoach.com. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss any future episodes. And please take a moment to write a review in the App Store.